All right, welcome to week four, the preview video. So in week four, we are going to continue the theme of radical egotism. And as I um, will mention in the other video, radical egotism is this idea that all that matters is you. Your goals, your desires are all that is important. Um, and uh, that means other people are valuable to you only if they can serve your ends, only if they can further your desires or help you accomplish your goals. And, you know, just one thing to kind of point out right at the outset, a radical egotist doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be the person that simply abuses or discards or rejects or neglects others. You could um, view other people and being nice to them and uh, as a way to kind of get what you want. You know, just think of a politician who's going to say uh, things to people, make them feel good, promise them things, because what they want is ultimately that person to support them and to help them get ahead. So very, very important that a radical egotist is not necessarily someone who is abusive or neglectful or mean all the time. A radical egotist could be the nicest person in the world because they view that kindness as a way to get from others what they really wish. Okay, so, but in this, in this week, so the second week of radical egotism, we're going to explore some more case studies. These case studies are going to be different than the previous week because they're a bit more ambiguous. It's not quite as clear that the people in these uh, videos are acting uh, as radical egotists. In fact, you might say they're definitely not radical egotists. But the reason we're going to study it is because we can ask, one, are they radical egotists? What's the case for and against it? But two, um, if, even if they're not radical egotists, are they being too egotistic? Are they too self-absorbed? And uh, that's something that you'll discuss in your discussion boards. So this week, we really have three case studies. One is a video, a mini documentary about this guy, this wrestler named Razor Ramon. And uh, you're going to look at his life and uh, how he went from the pinnacle of success in the WWE. He was one of the most popular wrestlers uh, in the Federation. And uh, he had a steep decline and because of drugs, because of alcohol, because of addiction to his persona, so on and so forth. And uh, his family ultimately left him. So we're going to ask with him, was he too egotistic? Was he too self-absorbed? Was he too focused on his wrestling character? The next uh, video we're going to watch, and it's very, very short. It's like a 30-second clip of uh, promoting uh, the Broadway show Rock of Ages. And in this video, this clip, essentially what you get is a bunch of people saying, I saw Rock of Ages 7 times, 20 times, 30 times, 50 times, so on and so forth. And most of you are, are going to have this initial gut instinct that that's fine. You know, if they want to go see, see a Broadway show 50 times, 100 times, that's their prerogative. That's their right to do as they wish. Who am I to judge? But I want you to think about that. I want you to think if there's any reason to think that that kind of behavior, going to see a show that many times, uh, is perhaps a little too self-absorbed, whether they might be able to use their resources um, in a more moral way. And then the final case study, uh, and this is just found on the discussion board, uh, and it's going to be something that I, I hope usually it generates a lot of interest, and that's the question whether that Rab shuttle, from the bottom of the Rab hill to the top of the hill to drop off a of Bachman, that goes back and forth throughout the day, all day, whether that shuttle service is in fact immoral. You know, most people think, no, of course it's not immoral, it's just, you know, it's there, the rap hill is steep, uh, you know, I don't like to walk up it, so on and so forth. But, you know, think about um, what message it sends to you as a person. Does it entitle you? Does it communicate to you that you can be lazy? Is it a waste of resources? Uh, so on and so forth. So uh, that will be interesting to kind of get your perspective on, on this real Newman-centric uh, issue. Okay, as always, you know, watch the videos. The videos are there to uh, reinforce some of the key themes from the previous week, as well as just kind of give you a, an overview of the week ahead. And when you get an overview of the week ahead, you're more prepared to do the reading, you're more prepared to watch the videos, so on and so forth. And in terms of preparation, I just want to reiterate this point. Before you do the reading, before you watch any videos, uh, watch these videos, um, watch the, the professor videos, uh, also, look at the discussion board posts, uh, because when you know what you're looking for, um, it's going to be much easier to read, and it's going to be much easier to watch the videos. 
uh, because you're looking for something. You're not just kind of aimlessly uh, passing your eyes over words or just mindlessly watching some uh, documentary. You're looking for something specific. Okay, uh, the, the week four entries, a uh, pretty decent job this week of getting the blog post in uh, before kind of the, the Sunday time frame. As always, people are going to post on Sundays. And as always, if you do that, I don't encourage you to do it, but make sure you're reading the other posts from your classmates because you're going to get their perspective. You're also going to get my responses to the, your classmates. And by doing that, hopefully understand the material more fully. Um, and in terms of understanding the material more fully, remember, you know, there's the uh, weekly uh, conference call to help you understand, to help talk about issues, to help talk about confusions. Uh, very rarely does anyone get on there. In fact, only one person so far this semester. Uh, so who's going to be number two? Um, take advantage of it. You know, and if that time frame doesn't work, let me know, and I'd be happy to, to change to a different time. Okay, there's a class poll this week. Uh, just do that pretty easy. Uh, there's the second quiz this week, uh, which will be uh, taken by Sunday, uh, 11, uh, 59 p.m. And I'm very excited this week because I figured out how to uh, respond to your quizzes in the sense that you're going to get feedback. It's going to show you what exactly you got right, what exactly you got wrong, what is the right answer, and the explanation for the answer. Um, I thought this was enabled before, but it wasn't, so... Uh, I'm happy about this. You're going to get more feedback. Finally, the first short assignment is due. The class, one of the key elements of the class is to create better arguments. And um, so this is your first chance to do so in a written or video form. Review the rubric, uh, which is in your reading packet. Review the explanation for the rubric. Uh, and I also encourage you to go back and watch that video I made about creating better arguments. Uh, you can find any of the videos in the course by simply going into the video folder uh, and in that video folder that's broken down into three different sections. One, professor videos. Uh, two, in-class videos. Uh, and three, um, actually no, for your class there's only two, excuse me. But there are those two video folders. And if you want to go back and watch uh, the video I made about creating better arguments, trying to really walk you through it, I encourage you to do so. Uh, it is in that folder. All right, have a great week. Uh, this will be our last week on egotism. And uh, as always, I look forward to your discussion posts.